This tutorial forms part of our basic computer training course for anyone worldwide and for those looking to qualify in the European Computer Driving Licence it covers elements 1.6 and 1.7 of the Equal Skills Computer Basics. This lesson is titled Understanding Your Cursor. Now your cursor or mouse behaves differently as it interacts with your web page or software and it's important to understand what your cursor is telling you. These are the default settings for your mouse or cursor and may be found through the control panel. They can be changed but please don't change them until you fully understand what you're doing. Now I'm going to run through the ones that you really need to know. Normal select. This is how your cursor will appear when it's just on the screen. Help select. If your cursor passes over an element where there's help available for it, it will give this little question mark at the bottom of the cursor, meaning that there will be a help topic available for you. A small circle rotating in the background. This means that your computer is busy working in the background. A small rotating circle. This means that your computer is busy and you should wait for it to fully load. Precision select. This is often found with graphics uh, including picture software and drawings. Now one of the most common ones is text select. You'll find this when you move onto a piece of software where you can then type in text or numbers. Handwriting in certain softwares you can write using your cursor. And unavailable. This means that whatever you're trying to access is unavailable for whatever reason. Link select. This means that your cursor is over a hyperlink and if you click on your mouse it will take you to a new web page or a new area of the software. Those are the basic mouse properties or cursor meanings. Now for a quick demonstration if I click on the start button at the bottom and onto our browser Google Chrome. You can, you can see the cursor with a small wheel showing that we're working in the background and in the top corner Google's loading if we move our cursor over the page in some places it changes to a hand and that means that there's a hyperlink if we click on there it will take us to the advertising programs and if we move over the Google search bar text available we can type text in the search bar and that's a couple of the basic things which demonstrate that your cursor is telling you what's available to you on your page thanks very much